Hello and welcome to this video on how to create actionable responses in SQL Diagnostic Manager. Actionable responses allows you to react when an alert threshold is reached. You can execute the following responses to an alert. Send an email notification. Write an event to the Windows event log. Send the alert message to the IDERA newsfeed action provider. Run a program or batch file. Execute a SQL script, execute an agent job or a specific step within the job, send an SNMP trap message, or run a prescriptive analysis. The first step is to configure the alerts by adjusting the thresholds to the specific needs. This is done by right clicking on your instance name, going to configure alerts, and in this case, I'm going to choose log full percent and I'm going to be adjusting the thresholds. The second step is to go under Tools, select Alert Action and Responses. You can add a new rule and provide a name, the conditions, and the actions to run. The conditions will define what instances to alert, when to alert, what type of status to alert, etc. In this example, I will select the specific instance out of my five instances that I have, only from 8 to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, and only to alert me if the log full percent is critical. One important tip is to always check where metric severity has changed, otherwise you will get an alert for every collection period. The third step is to define the actions to take. In this example, we will use two actions. One, send an email notification, and the other one to run a SQL script. First, you need to enable the action called send an email. In this case, we will assume that you already have entered the SMTP information to be able to send emails. Otherwise, it will prompt you to enter that information. Next, you need to enter your email address and customize your email template. You can pass different variables by clicking the arrow on the right-hand side. In this example, I will add the database name to my template. Now, I will also enable the option that is called Run the Following SQL Script. I will enter the description, the instance variable, so it knows which instance to use, and my script to truncate the transaction log file. I will pass the variable of the data into my script, so it knows which database to use to do the transaction log truncation. That is it. You have created an alert and also an automation response in SQL Diagnostic Manager. You could also run other actions like run a program by adding the path of your executable or run an agent job by loading the job from the instance and optionally selecting the step that you want to run from that job. Thank you. For more information, visit idera.com.